Japanese media bravely exposes fraud crackdown on corrupt bureaucrats. One day in 2016, a reporter, Long Yi, received a shocking phone call, the Ministry of Finance sold state-owned land to a selected school. The cost of this, however, was not disclosed. There must be some ruse involved. Moreover, the Prime Minister's wife serves as the school's honorary principal, when Long Yi heard it, he anticipated it to be a headline. As a result, he started to investigate. First and foremost, he contacted the Ministry of Finance to inquire about the land sale price. He was, however, rejected. The school buyer then bypassed his questions as well. After hitting every wall he could find, he discovered that the price of the land was only one-tenth of the price of the surrounding land. Consequently, Long Yi revealed to the world that the Ministry of Finance had sold the land at a low price and colluded with businessmen, sparking widespread debate throughout the country in response to all those questions, the Prime Minister vehemently denied any involvement in the matter. Saying, if I or my wife is related to this matter, I will definitely resign as Prime Minister and MP. More turbulence unexpectedly ensued. Long Yi went in search of the land purchase documents at the time under unprecedented duress. It was shockingly found that the Ministry of Finance fiddled with these documents. The names of the Prime Minister's wife and other politicians were removed from the documents, and some people had died as a result. The Ministry of Finance clerk was forced to tamper with fake items, it was discovered. His conscience was deeply condemned by the pressure of obeying his superior's illegal orders. He chose to commit suicide after being attacked by the public and left a letter of his last words. For following the investigation, the finance minister admitted to tampering with documents. As the public's dissatisfaction grew, the prime minister admitted to the people, the public's trust in the administrative system has been shaken. Please accept my heartfelt apologies. Meanwhile, the president of the National Taxation Bureau, who was in charge of land sales at the time, stepped down. So far, the fact that Japanese state-owned land was sold at a low price has been mostly hidden by the massive national black hole. Fortunately, there were still many conscientious media reporters, such as Long Yi, who were willing to bear enormous pressure to report the truth, as well as pay attention to politics and express public opinions. As a result, investigation was conducted and officials were forced to admit their mistakes. They can no longer blatantly abuse their power. The Japanese media even made this story into a TV series in order to raise awareness and public interest. Such dramas, which seek personal gain while causing political and judicial injustice, are staged in every country. Only by upholding the principle of justice and being willing to care about and participate in public affairs can people protect human rights and improve the national system.